So it rained last night, uh, which means that uh, skate park is a little wet. Um, I actually got a little skating in yesterday. Uh, met up with the uh, the guys in Raleigh at Marsh, uh, just for a quick session. I only had a little bit of time, but um, was looking forward to skating some aggressive this morning. But because of the wet, you know, I don't really I like skating in puddles. So um, I'm here over at Central Park. This is the uh, really nice smooth area that um, I did the flatland uh, testing and the Kaiser Aero testing. Um, it's uh, it's really great. They usually have farmers markets here uh, during the summer. Uh, the pavement is super slick, uh, nice and smooth, and it's covered, so there should be no puddles. Um, looking forward to skating the uh, the K2 R100s again on the Seba. Really uh, hope to get some of the feedback that I got from last week's session uh, and apply it, practice some of the, uh, uh, the parallel turns and stuff like that and see if I can uh, See if I can move my uh, <laughs> move my legs like uh, like Sean does, but we'll see. A lot of fun. Uh, this cement is just amazing. It's uh, it's almost slippery. Like uh, when I do uh, uh, deep turns, uh, I feel like I almost slip out. Um, so it might just be you know a little dusty. There's some dirt around and leaves and stuff, but I think it's going to be fun. All right, let's do some uh, let's do some circles. Well, it's, it, it, it's coming along. Uh, I can definitely feel when I'm leaning forward or leaning backwards, like it's a pretty obvious tilt uh, on what wheels I'm riding. Um, if I understand correctly, I should be on my heels more uh, and I'm definitely on my toes more. Um, I'm sure there's a transfer in there somewhere, but um, more on my heels, more, you know, feet together, legs bent so that I can move a little bit. Um, I'm feeling it. Uh, I can feel uh, the difference between last week, that's for sure. All right, uh, try some gazelles. Again, thanks everybody for all the comments and feedback. I'm probably going to butcher them, but at least I have a game plan this time. Um, <laughs> let's, let's see what happens. I don't know. I feel like that was right. I feel like uh, my outer foot, my right foot, uh, definitely led more than my left foot, and I know that I need to work on that. Um, but I feel like I got both edges working. I curved into it, flipped into it. Um, I'm gonna try it the other way. 
and uh, see if I don't fall down, but uh, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Well, that way felt a lot more awkward. Um, I'm not used to looking over my left shoulder, I think, uh, when I'm doing my uh, outside uh, backwards crossovers. So that was a little weird, but um, I feel like I'm getting the footwork right. I mean, obviously there's a lot of room to improve, but um, I can feel the difference between when I, I, I do it right and when I kind of lift up my foot and turn. Um, it's all about my my rear uh, wheel positioning. Like if I can stay on my heels, I feel like I can turn around and, and pivot a little bit easier. Um, if I don't, I feel like I get stuck and that's when I pick up that, that outside foot. Funny enough, my inside foot, my left, I guess that's my outside foot. Scratch that, reverse it. My left foot feels like it's getting it fine. The one that ends up on the inside. Uh, it's the outside foot, my right foot, that I don't trust. Uh, and that's the one that's getting all caught up and I'm having to step over. All right, uh, let's try some Stunados. Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. I was going the wrong way. Yeah, look at me. Hey! Woo! All right. This whole time I was doing the wrong way. <laughs> of course I was falling on my head. So um, that felt fun. So it was a very, it's a very effortless like spin. Um, so so much so that you end up spinning a little bit more and it's hard to keep it within just a 180. Like I found myself spinning a little more and kind of sliding out. But um, yeah, it's a good feeling. So the trick for me um, is that once you cross, you're really on your outside edges of both and it's just a turn, like a really quick turn. But because you've got your legs crossed, um, you've got both legs both edges turning at the same time, uh, and uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. All right, I'm gonna try it the other way, and then uh, maybe do it backwards, I don't know. We'll see. It's not as easy. Oh, God. Oh, oh it's scary. <laughs> Not better. All right. That was that was much more difficult. Um, I think the uh, you know the turn is weird. So when I, I do uh, hockey, uh, my uh, my strong turn is to my left. Um, when I go right, it's less strong. Um, so I can carve really deep to my left, um, but when I carve to my right, it doesn't have the same power. Um, and I, you know, experienced that there because it's really, it's really like a hockey power turn in a lot of ways, uh, leading with that front foot. Um, so whatever foot is crossed over uh, on top is the foot that I'm going to cross and do a, a, a power turn. And um, I, I don't do that super well on the right. Um, I don't know if it's the legs, it's not strong or what, but just the outside outside edge isn't as strong. Um, but I got it a couple times, not great. I think my, uh, my left 
is better than my right, but that's fine. All right, um, I want to try some slides. I don't know if I'm going to do parallel slides today, but maybe I'll see if I can get that back foot to slide a little bit. Um, definitely some uh, um, some magic slides. Uh, this place is just too too smooth. It's begging for it. Parallel slides feel so good. Like just that, that feeling of skating really fast and then just kind of sliding your way across the floor. Uh, it's fun. I, uh, I'm very envious uh, of, you know, Nick Lomax and Joey and all those guys who are just incredible at slides. Um, someday I'll get there, but I think, uh, I think this is the place to do it. All right, parallel slides, very nervous about this. I'm, uh, I'm most worried that I'm gonna fall on my hip and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fall on my hip. Um, I do have my wrist guards, so I shouldn't break anything, but just the fact that I'm thinking about possibly breaking something is a little scary. So I don't know if there's an easy way to learn parallel slides, but I'm gonna see if I can video, check a video real quick. I think uh, Lino had a really good tutorial. So let me, let me watch that real quick and uh, I'll give it a shot. So I really like Lino's instructional stuff. I love Sean's stuff too, but I think Lino uh, at least was the first person that I saw doing parallel slides and uh, I think his makes sense. I mean, we'll see, right? Because if I can't do it, it doesn't make sense. This tutorial sucks. No, it's just me. Um, so his uh, recommendation is turns, 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 turns. And as it gets tighter, you'll start feeling yourself slide out. Um, weight then goes to the back foot and your heels. So I'm going to try that a couple of times. Uh, just see if I can... I mean, it's kind of like a stopping three turn at that point, I guess. Um, so that I can get confidence with it, but I have a feeling that I'm going to slide pretty easily on this place. Wish me luck. One more. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely sliding on purpose this time. Uh, this, I mean, this, this flooring is amazing for that sort of thing, so I'm not surprised. Um, but yeah, it's just, you know, turn, 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 turn. I keep my, I feel like I keep my front foot wider and I do more of a sharp turn with my inside foot. Um, I think that's a confidence thing. I'm, I'm sure that's not the way that I should be doing it. Uh, but I feel like if I lose my edge on my uh, inside foot, um, then when I'm slipping out, you know, I can throw my body up in front. I don't know. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but got to work in a little bit. Let's do, a, let's do a few more. A little tighter, a little faster, a uh, little better weight distribution, and uh, uh, maybe feet more uh, uh, closer together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that felt pretty good.
Okay, feeling much more confident. Um, I'm definitely not carving enough. I think that's my, my problem. Um, when I get into my, my slide, um, or I'm ready to commit to my slide, I'm still kind of jumping into it. Um, I really need to do a better carve into that. Uh, th you know, thankfully, that side is my, my strong side for, uh, for hockey power turns, so it's angles that I trust. It's also the best way that I hockey stop uh, on ice. So kind of cheating there because I know kind of what I'm doing, but it's a very different feeling um, for me. Uh, but I can't remember learning hockey stops. It's been a long time. Um, all right, more carving, tighter, tighter carve at the end. And uh, let's see if I can, I can do a little bit more. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, that looks stupid. That felt really good. All right. I always like to quit while I'm ahead. And that last one felt really good. Um, feel like when I do stick, it's because I'm not carving enough. Really need to take it outside and come back in. With hockey on ice, I can kind of just jump into it. And I'm sure that, you know, I mean, I've seen Joey do it, just jumping into a transition and sliding, but um, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. So more of a carve right before I, do it more trust in my inside edge um, I haven't slid out yet so I mean I'm sure that I will eventually but um, yeah this was a good day feedback appreciated as always um, reddit is always great or uh, YouTube uh, comments I, I absolutely love hearing from you and uh, getting better so if you've got any tips love to hear it Anyway, see you guys next week.